Hi, I'm Andrew Jenkson and welcome to the Cavern Industry Channel. To a new video. I'm here today at Coachman's 2023 trade show, no less. And what they got new? Well, to be quite honest, they've done very little to the vans. They've kept them pretty much as they are. The Arcadia range has got silver sides now and some other detailed changes, but otherwise, uh, very little. Now they say it's to help suppliers, but also it does help Coachman because it means say they don't have to mess around, change things, and keep the prices down and all that type of thing. But anyway, I'm looking at the Arcadia. I think this is the 575. Um, if I'm right, but maybe I'm wrong because it's not the 575, the 575 is actually next door. Anyway, I'll put it up on the video when I've done. Right, let's have a look around this van. It's a new layout for 2023. Oh, just let's get on with it. Right, it's the 545. Now, come on, let's get this together because they're quite rushing actually because they're just going to take the vans off and I can't understand it myself because anyway, well, yeah, I can, but anyway, anyway, left that. Right, uh, front lounge, short little front lounge, so you're not going to be able to sort of stretch out too much on here. Um, Nice big uh, usual uh, sunroof as per norm, um, also very nicely finished off considering this is the entry level range of Coachman, all nicely uh, finished as I say, good quality, decent brand Tora. Um, mini hike at the top there, uh, built in drawers here at the bottom just the drawers, very comfortable seats. Again, plenty of plug sockets and also you've got, I think, a dab radio. Now, let's go to the kitchen area because the kitchen area is quite good. Uh, you've got a good deep sink here. You have a plastic uh, plug-on drainer, clip-on drainer. Also, you've got an extra little bit of worktop here as well, which helps out. One plug socket there. And also the dual fuel, obviously, Thetford oven. Um... Good drawer space, there's your, your drainer, good cupboard space, place here for your freestanding table of course for the front end and of course this can be made up into a double and there's an alarm fitted on the Arcadia too and I do like the little corner nifty spot lamps too, um, LEDs, should be nice and bright and power saving. Plus you've got a Russell Hobbs um, microwave up there, a normal roof vent too at the top. And on this other side, you've got the 
usual domestic fridge freezer some more at top here also put your telly on here if you need be there's no tv um bracket on here should i say so you can't really put your telly up there on the wall um would you have to uh, you could do uh, maybe that's something they should do what they also do is still use these little black these little caps which i find a little bit annoying these days because that's going back many years good general storage everything feels very solid the control panel up there so this is your kitchen area, pretty damn good. Uh, as I say, good storage. I'll have a quick look, come on. Oh, some gas taps in there. I haven't got the price of these yet. I will give them after the video. Right, so let's go through into the back bedroom. We've got the island bed here. This is the, as I say, this new layout. Uh, excellent storage at the top. And of course the bed does come out further to enable you to sleep in it, of course. But in the meantime, this is great because you get round here nice and easily decent side window here too uh, one of these sort of little blind things it's not bad it's not too bad it's better than the ones that dangle on the side I think um, also you've got these little handy pouch things here uh, as I said good cupboard, uh, cupboard, cupboard good cupboard overhead storage and also uh, decent wardrobes as well there we go, and that's got your Aldi central heating. Now, people do like their Aldi central heating, and it is a choice. I think it's a good central heating system, but I do like the Truma system because you get instant heat, but then there's pros and cons for both. But a decent sized bedroom, and you've got here TV connector thing. Again, you have to provide your own mounting uh, bracket for that. So, decent bedroom. I, I like this fan. This is a nice model to add into the Arcadia range, actually. Right, let's have a quick look at the bathroom. Because it's central. Oh, here you've got the shower. And it's a decent sized shower as well. Uh, no roof vent in there. Could do with some sort of ventilation, because when that's shut, it's going to be quiet. Then. then again, you've got this bit of a gap up here, and you have got that roof vent there. So, maybe that's not going to be such an issue. And again, this can be shut off with a sliding door. That's fine. And you've got your light switches here, nice and convenient. And also, let's go in here, this is the actual loo room itself. And you've got a mirror there. Oh, hello, that horrible person. And a Thetford cassette loo. And you get a side window, of course. And it's a, 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 a little frosted version. Some storage above there, and also a roof vent. Nice little sink, hand basin, good and deep. Storage underneath, plus you've got your chrome radiator if you're out of heating it's all very neat it's all very practical and i'm sure in use people will love it okay let's go have a summary on this so there's a new arcadia 545 with its uh island bed at the back end there you have to give me because it is very warm every time i come to coach room, it's a really warm day and today's no exception um that's why i've not got my cow and industry sweatshirt on because it's too warm for that now yes what do i think well i don't know the price um, I know the price is going to be held for 2022 into the end of August, which, yes, all right. But after that, they're going to shoot it dramatically, I'm pretty sure, as all manufacturers will do, of course. So, what do I think? Well, this is going to be a two berth, and you can make this into a double bed here for you, for another two people to use and sleep with. And I'm sure it'll be very comfortable. I think this is a very good tour for, the, uh, for a lot of couples. I think they'll love it. I can't really see anything really majorly wrong with it. It's pretty typical coachman practical design with a bit of flair and a little bit of how can I put it yeah it just feels nice uh, nicely put together I mean these are prototypes but at the end of the day you know you would know you would think this is a good old standard production van that comes off the line every day uh, there's no sort of rough edges or bits that don't fit um, I like that bedroom it's good size and even and I like the way you can put that bed right up uh, in there and the storage you get underneath too plus that shower compartment cubicle is a good decent size it reminds me of the ones you used to get in the lunas kitchen wise decently well equipped also lighting typical to uh, uh, coach and standards and i'm sure this is going to be a good addition to the arcadia range which i've liked from day one from when it was launched several years ago Whew, right so 
Do I give it my seal of approval? Yes, I do, because I think it's a cracking van. I do like Coachman anyway. I think they're a pretty good brand of Tora. And I think, again, they will have a pretty win here. Now, just, just noticing quick before I go is they've no access flaps to the seat bases, which I always think is a bit of a down, because it's sprites they put access flaps on. And I think it's something, really, that they should have done, even at this range. So I reckon this will probably come out at about the 27, 28 gram up, but that is just off the top of my head. I will give you the details after. Right, so I'm going to do another review somewhere else now. But I'll have to get my skates on. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you like them. Please don't forget to press the thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.